Wow. All right. So these players are ranked 600 ELO, which is definitely on the lower side of low ELO legends. And uh, the legend, the high ELO legend, Doubt, is here with me. Doubt, how excited are you to cast 600 ELO players? Especially after that YouTube introduction, I, I feel amazing. I feel I need to deliver now. Oh, Pressure wow. Is on. Pressure is this on. This is worse than Boa. <laughs> okay, well, we have Pangolin FDP. Doesn't FDP mean something in... What is... Oh, Isn't that Ninso? Fila de puta, man. Fila de puta. <laughs> I know my... <laughs> My Portuguese. <laughs> okay, well, we have him uh, playing as the Saracens, and then in the blue, we have just the so. devil who's playing as the just Portuguese. The With an amazing house right away. Honestly, this looks up good so far. Oh, no, no. I just stay where you're at. What time are you at? Uh, 1.40. Okay, I'll speed up a little bit to catch up. Yeah, yeah. I'm at 1.45. So we might need to be a second or two off, but dude, honestly, this does not look 600 ELO so far. This looks, <laughs> this looks decent. Well, what can go wrong at the beginning? <laughs> I mean, this looks decent, but what else could go wrong? You just produce villagers in each chief. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have six units to control. Pango. And there you go. Hey, the ship timing, the ship timing. Oh, it's off. Yeah, Pango took uh, two sheep at once. It's not a big deal. They're building some lumber camps here. I'm talking about the devil. Your guys is behind. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. So, what, what's your uh, careful. how oh, many I how many that. low elo games have you seen before in your life? Doubt. Have you watched I any of your games? Cast you and Matt Salsa play <laughs> once, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I set myself up there. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Saracen's but look how careful he is about his ships, always sending on one by one. He doesn't want a misclick. It's true. Oh, he's a, the timing's a little bit off here, but this... I've casted 1,000 ELO games where the build orders weren't this good, so these guys should be proud of... Uh-oh. Oh, man, that was close. It's, just, it's not close. His fight's calculated. Oh, 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 ship or not? Oh, he will take the ship in the end. He was so careful about that to know this. Yeah, why take the ship? Well, Del told me that... Um, he said he was worried to join Low Elo Legends because he didn't want to be too brutal. So uh, I said that to my audience here, and pretty much everyone was like, "Well, I would love it if Doubt were to roast me." So oh, this is my side, my nice side right now. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for something really bad to happen, and then you can't hold it in any longer. <laughs> well, I think we will wait for some time. Like he got idle TC. I don't think they will reach feudal in. Well, in any normal time. Yeah, yeah. At least they're similarly idle right now. The same bill count. You want to say similarly bad? Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're I the like one. how you pretend to be nice all the time. <laughs> you're the yes, one who called them fat that. kids, man. <laughs> two, fat, <laughs> two fat kids missing the ball. I, at least you called them the idiots. That was yours. That's true. That's different. So... Okay, okay, another lore. Another lore. Hype it up. How do we do this? Oh, oh, here he goes. He has food. See, the, you can tell the villagers prepared to eat food. Because he has food in his hand. All right. Mm -hmm. I, and the timings are actually really good for him, but the luring position. Where is he going? Oh! Where? Okay. All right. Well, that one was a little bit further away from the TC this time. <laughs> I, I, I could, like, they know you don't need to get loom. Like, every village you don't do loom for, it's like 10 extra resources. Yeah. So he's avoiding to do loom, and then he is luring like this. Oh, Always yeah. scared. Next level, okay. It's kind of impressive, yeah. I am, I am really impressed. That's not sarcasm at all. Now, I would like to see a dock, uh, but players at this elo do not dock on water maps usually. So, <laughs> what they do on islands then? <laughs> oh, believe me, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to island games. Yeah, I uh, saw a guy who was Portuguese, and he just made fatorios on islands, and then would try and transport army across. He would not make navy. I will do that in tournament. Victorias are really good. You honestly have some of the most entertaining island games ever. If I think back to all the island games I've casted, you had the one Portuguese uh, versus Vikings against Hera where you came back. And yeah, then... Yeah, I know, you already stole that one from me. I didn't steal it, I was casting it. <laughs> are we? Am I stealing this from the devil? <laughs> Damn right you are. <laughs> and then, um, all, what was the other one? Oh, the Korean one. I think we both uploaded that one. I know you have that on your channel too, where you... Use well, the I'm siege totally planning to upload the hero one as well, but I, I'm kind of slow. Oh, you—that was like a month ago. You still haven't uploaded that? 
I, I, I'm a bit slow. Like, ah, oh, okay. You maybe don't know about this about me, but I'm a bit lazy. What? You're not lazy. Yeah, a bit, a little bit. It's hard to notice. Yeah, it's really hard to notice. You don't sound like that type of guy. Okay. Well, wow, blue. Uh, lots of villagers on berries here. We have the dog from the red man. The dog. Really? Oh. Yeah. And he will use the surfish next to the dog. Oh, he know. He even read the balance changes. This guy is another level. Wow, okay, so he is gonna dock. And uh, I guess he'll want to make a few fishing ships. And both are going for the feudal age. Do you think they're gonna rush out or or what? I have no clue. <laughs> uh, well, looking at the house wall of the <laughs> devil, I don't <laughs> It's hard to predict. Why would you wall your wood line? <laughs> he's house walling his wood line and he's trying to keep it safe. This is where the lumberjacks live, obviously. <laughs> but imagine, like, in the top level, it's always start behind the wood line. Good luck doing that now. Oh, yeah, that's true. This is like the counter to Vivi. It's the Vivi yeah. counter. They know, they know. They watch the core games and they think about good strategies. They are just uh, a bit uh, lacking on the build orders. Okay? Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. Just build orders and yeah. hockeys. They, they, they're probably... Uh, they're probably more big brain than we are, doubt. They just don't have the skills. They don't have the experience. Yeah, yeah. Well, it'll take just a few more years and like it's a new game. Yeah. All right. Well, Pango built a barracks. He also really likes to build his buildings right up against the wood line. It's not the end of the world. Um, and nobody got the loan. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. So that was, that's been risky. He also made a dock. And, dude, he didn't... Yeah, maybe it's not risky if they don't attack. He made a dock, but the dock might as well just be a mill at this point because he hasn't done anything with the dock, so... That is true, that is true. But he doesn't have wood. He didn't balance his economy correctly. Mm -hmm. And he's kind of busy. He's not producing villagers. He's stuck with some food. And I... <laughs> What do you do? He's not producing villagers. He got a 500 food. He's not producing anything. <laughs> he's he's taking his time, man. He's saving food. Duh. Oh, he's getting wheelbarrow. There you go. And uh, Tom will try to ask that. Okay, okay. All right. Now, now we see. And the scout. Oh, he was saving food for scouts. So here's a question. Um, You obviously the played this made. game for a long time, right? Was there... Yeah. like How long did you play the game before thinking about it? somewhat competitively. Did you have a long period of time where you played it without hotkeys? Do you remember any of that? Or were you just immediately into hotkeys? Uh, I was immediately in hotkeys. Actually, I started playing it uh, competitively with my primary school, yeah, friends, right away. Okay. There was like five of us. We were like playing all the time with dial-up connection multiplayer. And I was destroying. <laughs> I was destroying them. <laughs> Doubt I, is bragging about his primary school <laughs> victories. They were all playing like those guys, but I was winning. <laughs> and also, back then, the maximum population standard was 75 population. Oh, wow. Yeah, those were the days. The computers can only handle more than that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's, that's funny to hear. Well, right now, Red is making... A transport ship. <laughs> what is he making? He's making a, a, a fishing ship from the back dock, and he's going to take the shore fish with it instead of the deep fish. He's making a transport <laughs> ship for That's his scouts? <laughs> he just passed through. I mean, it's cooler to put it in transport, I agree. But... Oh, wow. And it's like Saracen's transport. It's, oh, it's, he is using C-bonus. He knows everything. Oh, it's true. It's Saracen like... transports are stronger. Wow. Yeah. They fit 10 scouts. Okay. So it would be a bigger surprise. Okay, okay, I see how it is. <laughs> well, Blue is, uh, he's doing a little bit better with build creation, Dowd. He's, he also has made fishing ships, so he has 31 eco, that's what I see. It's only 22 for Red. Uh, however, Red will have the attack and Blue is just booming, so this could actually be pretty even if you think about it. <laughs> he's just booming? <laughs> okay. Are you, <laughs> are you not, are you not, uh, you would not qualify this as a boom? Well, Just usually when you the... boom, you have what more than says. one TC. Yeah, true. More than one dog. I guess it's booming. Also, uh, he's booming with houses. This is a house. Boom. I'm really excited to see a pangolin can slaughter villagers up on this hill when, when he uh, transports across. Well, that will take a while because he's... Is he even producing? 
Okay, production is on, and he is waiting for full time. Yeah, he's not producing any villagers. He's just producing scouts right now. Yeah. Well, he cannot afford it. Like, how to do both? Okay, so and here's a question. 600 about. foot in the bag. <laughs> here's a question. Uh, what is going through Red's mind at this point? Do you think... You said you didn't really have a time where you didn't play without hotkeys, but do you think that maybe he's stressed? Do you think he's excited? That he's gonna... He's gonna win the game here? What do you think's going through his mind? I think he's playing with the idea of winning the game. I think we all do that. Yeah. Uh, let's see the fog of four. He doesn't even know, like... Probably he doesn't know that the enemy did not vault, so this transport attack will be surprised. But in reality, <laughs> he doesn't need it. Blue? And he's going for it. He is going for oh, it. Oh, here he goes. It will be such a big surprise. Six scouts. This actually could be uh, epic. Uh, uh, and, and Blue's on the way to Castle Age. Uh, he doesn't get the quad key to un unload. <laughs> <laughs> he can't un no. Oh, yeah. No, what does he do? Oh, there we go. Okay, thank God. I, I cannot help to think it would be faster if he just walked there without transport. <laughs> he could have walked <laughs> he right around. <laughs> Just think it will be slightly faster, but <laughs> not just me. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Did he get the loom? Okay, he got the loom. Yeah, blue has loom. Here comes red. Now he sees the wood line. Okay, here he comes. What will blue do here? Blue could lose so many pills. Uh, he got reaction time of nearly. Okay, okay. All right. fight, who wins? Well, I, the scouts are going to slaughter villagers. <laughs> the score is getting even. Yeah, this is, this is the most competitive game at 600 elo the doubt has ever seen this is a sick comeback right there with the sneaky transfer attack wow does he have upgrades on these things no he doesn't he just had the numbers well he will like the villager count uh, count after that he's he's still ahead for devil <laughs> yeah devil's still ahead i think because of the fishing shifts uh, because he was booming all game all right i like how Amazing he just game. he just went in to attack and then didn't even think about microing. Just like let them fight. Okay, now now that's okay. <laughs> Doubt's like, oh yeah, yeah. One of some things, and that's but this is fine. That's true. That's true. That's fine. That's Doubt's fine. experience that's, in that. that. <laughs> that's not. It happens. Okay. Oh, his ca castle age. What? Yeah, Devil's Castle Age making a barracks now, and he's still. Look at these houses, man. This is like a ring of houses in the back. Full wall from the, like, well, he saw the transport and he's like, from where can he attack me again with transport? Now he got one side secured easily there. <laughs> he's securing the back corner. <laughs> hey, the back corner would be the most surprising place to be attacked, so yeah, makes sense. And it's to all build about it there. Uh, eliminating effect of the surprise, right? So now. Oh, and look at the mining camp. Yeah. Getting stone and gold at the same time. Oh, that's value. He could take gold and stone <laughs> from that. It's equally inefficient. <laughs> And he got another one on gold, but yeah, this one is efficient. All right, so he's banking for the rim. He is going in Pretorius. Uh, Devil has reacted to the scout attack by building a barracks, and he has two spears already with seven more Q. So he is going to go for the full counter. Uh, and Red is currently loading up more scouts <laughs> into the transport ship. Well, obviously now when enemy is going scouts, you go. When you clean all the scouts, you go for the same counter because why not? He will send the scouts again. Yep. It all makes sense to me as well. I, I wonder if and Red will go back to the same spot. Again, he doesn't need to use the transport. This is style points, though. I'll give him that. But he did so much damage on that spot. So why not just repeat that? Yeah. If it works, don't change. Yeah, Blue's just sitting on the hill. Blue's getting forging. Man, he has so much food. If you were to make a stable and send knights to Red's base, it'd just be game over. But he just doesn't think about that. Well, the best thing is, if Red ever decides to attack that barrack, he is very safe there with 10 spearmen. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, if you can't, if you lose the barracks, then you can't make more spearmen, and you need spearmen. He is protecting that one, exactly. even with the heal and everything. Yeah, he knows there about is no way the barrack is going down. Also, I don't know if this is auto-scout. Okay, it is auto-scout on the right side. <laughs> but he's so good, even auto-scout is scouting that side where Red attacked before. Oh, transport, transport is again, and it's again failing, but... <laughs> That's okay. so unnecessary. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> okay, they're full average. They're full average. Oh, yes. Forging. And TC. I know, TC. Is Blue going to build the T? Oh, it is a doubt, TC. Oh, man. Oh. Pangolin. Here he goes. Okay, that feels definitely a goner. But here come the spears. 
Oh boy, oh boy. What now? That was immediate reaction from way. Devil. It would make would it be easier to put the spearmen in the economy, but yeah, I guess this works as well. Oh, full cleanup, full cleanup. All right, so the scouts go down. Devil can finish the town center now. It is 35 villagers. A devil also built another TC in the back of his base. Um, he's booming, but he's not producing anything. Yeah, right? that's that's going to be the problem here. Uh, and then red is. I think red. Two thousand wood. <laughs> okay, red. Red is more of an aggro player. So if if you were any of the players in this game, you'd probably be devil because you're more of a boomer. Yeah, yeah. See? This is exactly how here and me game looks like. <laughs> 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 That's what I was gonna say. Like this is this is probably like Hera or Viper or someone here, low eco. Oh, and the castle from the set. He buy the he abused the market. He used his serve perfect serve perfectly. All right. He so... sell all the wood, buy the castle. Huh. He think he did enough damage with aggression. Now he wants to defend. So he's. I have to give Red credit because he's been using the Saracen bonuses, the transport ship, the market. Yeah. All right, and he used them so efficiently as well. <laughs> okay, uh, he does have wheelbarrow, double bit axe, and horse collar. He does not have the second wood upgrade yet, but now he's getting fletching. It's a bit interesting. Oh, red is denied. Red, are you smurfing? Are you are you <laughs> calling me to cast your game? <laughs> what it is, is the farm? Way you want? Oh, okay, I see what you're doing here. You could have just asked, like. Yeah, sorry. I just you every time. Like every time I play, I just always get disappointed that you wouldn't be there to approve, you know? I will be there for you, don't worry. Alright, that's good to know. Pikeman now for Devil, so he's taking it to the next level. Alright. Well, he's only making scouts and transport, so... And Pikeman in behind that 8 here. Ooh, and It'll again, so Red taking advantage of the Saracen bonuses. Saracen galleys fire faster. So instead of making a fire <laughs> galley, he's making a galley. With fletching, if I may add. Yeah, that's why you got fletching, mm -hmm. okay. Oh, and look at the house. I think he's drawing us with those houses. He's writing something. <laughs> this is... he. You know, <laughs> He's securing the lake. <laughs> hey, there's one pro player, and I'm sure you know who, who could learn from this, to have a designated house builder. A certain person who will not be named, and Twitch chat, don't name him either, all right? It's not fair. MBL. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, at least he is getting ahead of the game with pop space. Uh, blue, what do you think of the fish traps? He's fish trapping on the edge of the earth. Well, Tim does the same way, so... Yeah, Tim does that. I think Tim was like that. <laughs> okay. It's because the fishing ships don't trap anymore, they work efficiently, and... Did he get the gill nets as well? Probably not. I'm not sure, but he's getting heavy plow right now, so I like the fact he got heavy plow on both saw. Blue's definitely better off when it comes to the economy, but what bothers me is that... The front of his base is wide open. Yeah, that's a real, real problem. <laughs> I cannot do this! <laughs> yeah. I'm trying my best, I cannot. Guys. It's fine, it's fine, man. We got Mamelukes for, for Pango now. You can do this. Okay, okay, and Mamelukes are good to counter Pikeman. Like, he saw he's going full Pikeman, and then he was like, what's good against Pikeman? One Galleon took a Mamelukes. <laughs> I, I just... <laughs> Red's insistence upon... Taking this pond is still so fascinating to me, Doubt. Like, there was absolutely no reason to make war galleys here or to make well, the transport, but... To be fair, if game goes lo along, those little rivers are the most important on Conti. Because they keep whole map safe and annoying for the wood lines. I'm not saying that he's thinking that way, but... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, he's currently attacking the blacksmith. Devil is on the way to the Imperial Age. What are the odds he makes Vittorious? That could be good for this elo. What else? I mean, he got houses ready, so... Oh, that that's why he was building... Just, man, that's why he was building houses whole game. Oh! Because Vittoria has 20 population now, he can spam them forever. Oh, makes sense. The one house is blocked by a sheep right now. I don't know if he'll ever pick up oh, on that. Oh, that's unlucky. That's really, really unfortunate for him. Happens that to the best of us. There. He's yeah. also snagging the relic in the north. Uh, built the university and the monastery so he could go imp, so he knew about that. Oh, will Mon get the relic? No, he's not going for that relic. Just passing, I guess. Vols? Okay, okay. Oh, 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 the dodging. The micro. The micro. 
Van HP villager. <laughs> uh, I think he needs to research ballistic right now. <laughs> All right. Well, the, I think the vill actually blocked the monk, so everything goes down there. And Red was was focused on that. <laughs> and now he's focusing wall. He's like, you are not going to wall that. Yeah. It's like. You're gonna lose that one, all that stone now. <laughs> that wouldn't auto attack, right? That wall. Yeah, because it wouldn't auto attack a wall. I yeah, think he's yeah, focusing yeah. on that. It's funny. He is like, we don't wall in my game. And Blue oh, really wants to wall it. <laughs> you see, he instantly changed to villagers. He is full attention to that. Uh, Blue just oh, used this. Oh, because you know why? Yeah. Because he wants to keep it open for Mamelukes. Oh, duh. And, and, and okay. Here he comes. And he got the transport next to it. I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't need the transport Even this time. Even if he falls, he got the transport. Okay, okay. Let's see the micro. Well, okay, great, that's... great micro so far. He lost all that's his mamelukes. That's about my level. Okay. Is Blue? Blue's making a Vittoria. So Blue knew. Both of these players know their planet. civilizations. Yeah, yeah. He's sticking to the plan. All right. How much Victoria cost? 250 stone and 250 gold. I don't know if that's impressive or sad that you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it's not always a meme. The thing is, his <laughs> eco balance is almost perfect for it. He has 280 gold and 223 stone. So by yeah, the time, almost, watch, yeah. when this when this one finishes, he has 249 stone. That's almost perfect. And what about 2,000 wood sitting? Uh, but it's a good balance. Yeah, yeah. You, you need wood. You need to build more houses, right? Yeah, and pikemen as well, they cost wood. Oh, Mark will get that relic finally. Amazing, amazing. You were right, you called it. Red is actually getting ballistics right now. No, he doesn't want that wall to happen. <laughs> he does. He's like bored of the micro in the transport all game. He wants to keep After it open, I guess. Years, okay, so Red is uh, starting to farm up a little bit. Four TCs, but he's not producing out of them. Oh, he's getting murder holes. How or when exactly this game ends? I'm only like, are those games last for like two hours or? Um, it depends. Sometimes they're pretty quick. Sometimes they're not. So here I think this game's actually going to be pretty close because Red's eco is. Well, if you don't count the Victorias, Red's eco I think is slightly better than Blue's. So this could be yeah, pretty epic. Farming. <laughs> It'll be pretty epic indeed. Who? Okay, who would you favor right now? <laughs> Who I was favor right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like skill wise, Devil is better player, but uh, Red got some amazing strategies and mindset. Yeah, he's it will come down to the those raids. But problem is, Victorious cannot be ra raided. Yeah. So I favor the Devil. The Devil is really. Yeah, especially because if you're if you're at this elo. Vittorios are so mindless. You don't need to do anything. You just build them, and it gives you resources. So, uh, I love the fist traps, though. Look how he lines them up up against the edge. <laughs> That's amazing. It's so perfect. It's so perfect. I miss those times, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. I always try and get to the mind. This is why I asked you uh, if you remembered your no hotkey days, because I always try and get to the mind of the noob. And think about how and they. And that's they why you invite things. me. Thank you, Tin Knight. Yeah, you lost one tournament. Well, not one, but okay. lately one tournament. And <laughs> Just now you're one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would have invited you whether you won or lost, Boa. No hard feelings. I believe you. Okay. Then why are you inviting MBL? That's <laughs> true. Yeah. To... to even it out, so you wouldn't feel bad. Oh, and look at the population from that. 75. I don't think he knows that there is a 200 population limit here. What's this Vil doing? He's gonna sneak. So, so far, he's transported through <laughs> here multiple times. He's run around, he's made water, and now as he loses his camels to pikemen, he wants to drop a castle there, doesn't he? I approve that, especially with one Vil only. I wouldn't do any better than that. Alright, well you heard it. Doubt approves. It, it might be a castle. I think right now he's let's looking... Go, he doesn't have the hotkey, so he's looking through the pages because I think the castle's <laughs> on the second page. So he's <laughs> looking through the pages. Yeah, I he's like trying to well. find where the castle is so he can place it. Oh, he found it. Yeah, there it is. He found it. Okay, two villagers. Nice. Then it's definitely going up. 
Oh, Bombard Tower. Is Devil MBL? Is he just going to make mass Bombard Towers? He's researching that right now. Well, we saw the houses, so it's not MBL. Look how many Victorias he has! <laughs> Four of them! So, keep in mind, everyone who's watching, that pops uh, Fatorias take up 20 population space. So, the population you see here for blue is is actually only like, about 90. Um, he cannot lose anymore. Look at the resources now. At this level, probably Portuguese is the best, too. Yeah. You don't care about the villagers, about anything anymore. Yeah. Now, Cannon Galleon as well. Now, uh, he actually has some Galleons that he could loop around the backside, but... Canaan Galleon's a unique one. Oh, he's adding docks as well. He's planning to add more. Okay. And the lack of he's making like 20 stables and not producing from a single one. Maybe it's part of the wall. Ah, uh, stable. Wow, yeah, it's, it, the houses are part of it too. It's all part of his master plan. Yeah, it's like when you launch the pro players and the uh, camels are finally in, you drop university mark or whatever. I guess he did that with stables. <laughs> Elite cannon galleon, he's not messing around. I have to give Red credit for still wanting to be aggressive here. Um, <laughs> he's kidding the mill. Yeah, he just he just clicked the mill by accident. Maybe it's better to not be aggressive and just a boom. <laughs> well, his economy, did he add houses? Yes, he did, but nothing else. Stuck at 71 for quite some time. All right. Decent eco upgrades. He does have handcart, didn't get bow saw. Um, how is he, how is he going to spend his wood here? Is he going to make more T90 farms? Or what's the deal? I think he will sell. He used Saratons to perfection. Yeah. It has to be for the market. Okay. Like, Mom looks like his unit of the choice. Like, at the beginning of Age of Empress, we all pick the two based on unit unit, right? All right. Why else would you play them? So he is using his Mameluke to attack Blue's town center. That's going to take some time. Might he does this all the time. <laughs> He only attacked buildings. <laughs> I don't think it's a misclick anymore. <laughs> he did that with the mill too. He should... Oh wait. With uh -oh. blacksmith as well, with the wall, everything. Yeah, okay, run away with the Mameluke. Run away with the Mameluke, ouch. Oh, Pyke got bonus against Galis, but good micro there. I, I am on the red hype train because blue, while it's good strategy, He's not making any gold units, and he's just camping with Fitorias. Which yeah, is... He's such a boomer. Exactly, such a boomer. So it's not a strategy I really admire, whereas Red is, is trying. It's not really the best attempt, but it's something. Well, he is making bomber towers. I think we are in for 24 hours team here. <laughs> I'll let you go at 23 hours. If it goes, <laughs> if it goes that long, I'll let you go then. Deal. <laughs> Oh, he got the navy. Oh, okay, okay. He used Portuguese now. There's the good water tip. He's going full navy attack on the side. While holding in the middle with bomber towers. Yep. Victoria's gives stone. Perfect strategy. See, normally I would say that the person in Red's position would get kind of frustrated <laughs> and resign. But Red doesn't strike me as the type of player who's going to resign early. I, I just saw Red again sending Mameluk to attack DC. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Wait, he could steal the relics from Blue. He has the rams there. I bet that's his plan. Like, you need ultimate gold to counter Vitorias. He only looks at this side, though, Dal. There's nowhere else. Just this area. <laughs> he's, popul he's top playing at uh, population 60, 68. He's top playing. He's not adding anything. Well, he's on his way to Imp. So maybe he's uh, looking at the tech tree or thinking of a, some type of a plan. He's still got the transport alive. That's true. That's yeah, very true. Let scouts like scouts did work so far, and now he clean all the pikemen. Whoa! He just queued up twelve villagers. Twelve. Oh, okay, at least he would have some economy to spend on something. Blue is building Blue a castle to... in the range of these galleys, but he has the tower there calculated. Oh, oh look at the Mike. He's trying to micro bomber towers. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's so sad. Fail <laughs> and fail. Oh, he's building another castle on this other side now, on the other side of the cliff. This is Viper. Viper is always about taking castles on the hill. Hmm. Yeah. Map packs too. Oh, he... You know, the gold's on the back. Definitely Viper. <laughs> I actually agree with that. <laughs> I never saw Viper with bad map. <laughs> 
So is Blue gonna go in for the kill or what? He has Cavalier. <laughs> for the kill. He <laughs> he doesn't have any armor upgrades. He even got two wolves with him there. Yeah, that is funny looking. Don't the wolves the attack Cavalier? Why aren't they attacking? That is true. That is true. They attack Cavalier and that he convert them. I don't know. Those are his wolves now. Yeah, use the power of God maybe. <laughs> but he's not collecting relics back. Yeah, I know. That that could be a concern. I mean, if Red gets those relics, then he'll have a total of four. Uh, then he will win the game. Okay, Blue sees the castles going up. He doesn't a have... A castle! Is it going to be a... De oh, wait. No, there's cannon galleons. Yeah, of course. That's just going to get shot down. <laughs> well, it will go up and instantly down. I know how it feels. <laughs> okay. It will not even go up. <laughs> no, it won't even go I up. I know how that feels as well. <laughs> Oh man, okay, so credit to Red. He's making Trebs now, and the uh, gather point for that castle is directly on Blue's TC. So I think he will have a. He hates that TC. <laughs> That's his area. That's where he scout rushed earlier. He doesn't he like lose that. It to Bomber Tower? Oh no. Oh is wait. in range? Yeah, it doesn't look. Maybe he clicked another target. Oh, it's in range. He hates that TC. That's where the wood line was. That's where he started off the attack. And I like how Devil is seeing that the Red is only making Mamelukes. So what's good against Mamelukes? Cavalry. <laughs> oh man, well... Yeah, the Treb will go down. Blue just really needs to fight. Like, again, this is why I'm rooting for Red, because Blue... He only re is reacting, he's not being proactive at all, but... <laughs> oh, this is why he has hey, Mamelukes! I'm only reacting as well in my game. That's true, that's true. You never root for me. Hmm. Oh, oh, very stable going, very stable going. What? To nothing. <laughs> <laughs> to to uh, the TC. <laughs> he's, he's just like the Mamelukes. Uh, I'm actually curious, what exactly is he... Where, where is his point of view? What is he looking right now? You can try view lock. Sometimes that oh, works. that's a good... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it only works when he acts, so we might not see much. Oh, wait, Lumber he's Camp. He's freaking fast, man. He's faster than me. <laughs> <laughs> he clicks the lot. Okay, so he just got supplies dealt. So I think he wants to go champion, which is... To counter calorie? Yeah, it's not really a, the best decision. I think they're doing it wrong. Like, when Pikeman's were on, he makes scouts. When Calorie is on, he makes champions. <laughs> That's true. He doesn't know counters. <laughs> they are doing it wrong. <laughs> he doesn't know counters. I guess he builds what he likes. I respect that. Champions look cool. He just queued up 14 of them. Yeah, I still have him on view log for me, so we could see. He's about to lose the castle. I guess he's making more navy, because he's oh. scared about that. <laughs> he just clicked on the trap, and it's not in range. The trap will lie. What? Oh, he's going to repair the castle. <laughs> he's going to try and repair the castle. It's not going to be. Oh, the view lock is so cool. Okay, now I can cast. Yeah, yeah let's, do, let's do like the next three minutes from view lock. Your luck is the way to Let's go. I Hold on. I'm going to go. Let's go on. Oh, he just built the castle back in the same spot. <laughs> what is up with that? Kill the kill the trap. He counts on the kill. He counts on the kill. <laughs> the same spot. Because he knows he will kill it with the galley. It's obvious. Easy. Uh, yeah, he got it. What on? And what then. On? Uh, and he was. I hear the point of you. He was looking at this like galley is going inside. <laughs> He was the look and those two galleys jumping inside the castle and the pikeman and he didn't do anything. Okay, I'm gonna go to Blue's like... point of view now and see. Okay, Red's building a bunch of new houses. Alright, house, house, house. Blue. What a surprise, he's building houses. Okay, what is Blue gonna do now? Now, again, with view lock, it's not like actually them moving around. It's every time they do an action that we see things. So I could say, it's see. It's quite rare. He, yeah, yeah, so we might not see a lot of movement. <laughs> but Blue's moving his navy in the north. I can see he selected them. I'm gonna see blue. Okay, so it, for me it's not showing his navy, but it's showing the pikeman right now, but he did definitely move the navy in the north. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the raiding part is happening there. So he got this. Just defend on land and win water is the idea. Yeah, and let Victoria economy kick in. Yeah. Perfect it, plan. It's certainly kicking in. I think Red needs to learn about being a bit more patient. You know, like he's sending in units one by one towards the <laughs> towers and the castles. He needs to learn some patience. 
I wouldn't be surprised if the waypoint is on, is on the TC. <laughs> oh, wait a it second. It that TC. Let me, let me see. Uh, the waypoint is actually, it's actually not set at the TC, but it's set between the towers now. Uh, I didn't think about that. I remember when I played against computer back 20 years ago, I built two bomber towers and this is exactly how the game looks like. And they <laughs> eight of them. That's true, because they don't know how to take out the bomber towers. <laughs> and Jams actually die instantly to bomber towers back in those days. Oh that yeah, that's it. true. Yeah, how broken was that? Man, I guess people couldn't boom like they can nowadays, but still. No, people didn't tumble bomber towers back then. You remember in the beginning of Age of Empress, like, Prostian, Mongols were considered better than Hunt because of the champions. That was the <laughs> unit to go. Because of their champions. Yeah, yeah, because they counter any trash unit and you just mass them, they're cheap and you win the game. Yeah, the, just like that world being... I, it's just so so mind-blowing that that's why Mongols were better than Hunts. <laughs> and it's even the champion is amazing. Yeah. Well, oh, champions. The on fire. What what is what unit would you say looks the coolest? If you had to choose one unit, what would it be? The Tonic Knight. Ooh, okay. That was my favorite unit when I started playing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think of my answer to that. I always felt like two-handed swordsmen looked better than champions. I agree with that. So yeah. I didn't upgrade to champion sometimes. <laughs> Teutonic Knight's pretty cool. Um, I, I like the Jaguar Warrior, though. I thought the Jaguar Warrior was good. I, I think the new one on DE looks a little weird for some reason, but... It looks amazing on DE. Really? I think it looks, di like, different. They don't look as manly. They look very, like... <laughs> they they don't like look as muscular. You like your manly? Yeah, I like them, I like My, them to I be mean, muscular. I mean, it's to be manly or not even I guess you don't play Mario on them. Yeah, that, I, uh, just not what I meant, Doubt. <laughs> I, I meant, I meant like muscular is what I meant. Sorry, Jibeta warriors. Oh, oh, it was all a debate, Doubt. He has two trebs. Two trebs on the Devil's Castle. What exactly was debate? Uh, I, I don't know. The death and destruction that he was the allowing. Debate was sending the champions to scout and die to bomber towers until trebs do the damage. I guess, yeah. These cannon galleons are doing work right now. Well, it's not like his economy is any worse after that. He this <laughs> never had a new lumber camp, so it's a good thing. <laughs> oh my god. It only looks worse, but it's actually the same. <laughs> uh, okay, so that castle goes down. I think at this point, if Red kills that one blue TC, he wins. In my eyes, if he destroys the TC, he wins. In my eyes, whoever makes the units will win this game. That's, you Once know what, that's a pretty units. good prediction. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and look at the uh, Keldor army on the top. Oh, okay, okay, blow him. He's waiting for full upgrades, and then he goes. Yeah, he uh, got chain barding, and now he's going to get plate mail armor for his pikemen. Let's see, quick walls, quick walls. Drop them. Quick walls, red, quick walls. <laughs> he got the TC, by the way. Well, that, he already feel like a winner then. <laughs> Murder holes for blue. Well, it's 192 look. pop. Obviously, 100 of that is from Fatoria or something around that. But <laughs> And look where blue is making castle. It's like wherever they lose the castle, they make the same spot. Yeah, I know. It's so interesting. The castle spots are fixed. Yeah, they become very <laughs> uh, fixated on one part of the map, don't they? And the wolves are still... <laughs> The wolves are attacking blue. The wolves have been around here for a long time. The wolves are oh, doing more damage than red is him. doing to blue right now. Come on, bad dude. Woo woo woo, man. Portuguese OP. 10,000 food in the bank with 15 on food. You don't see that too frequently. No, I do not, and I hopefully never see it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I wanna, I'm really curious if the wolves are gonna get a kill right now. Blue, Blue doesn't seem to realize. Oh, he will clean the up. No, actually, he's not. No, he's attacking the buildings. The wolves are still attacking. What is How he... is one wolf half HP? So he clicked at the same moment of him and then decided not to kill him. <laughs> oh, the wolf just got a kill. Let's go. I think the champion assisted a little bit. Man, okay, GG. 
GG. I think Red thought the wolves were against him, and he thought, ah, I can't, I can't fight Cavalier and wolves. This must be game over. It's too much. Like, wolves counter pike, man. Cavalier counters everything else. Game over. Game over. Wow. So, did, if you had one word just to sum <laughs> that game up, what would the word be? Mm, Boat to finals. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> Disaster. Oh, man. Uh, well, uh, you're right. Uh, there were a few instances where Red could have walled and he didn't. Oof. Too soon? Uh, oh, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, could, I couldn't oh, help myself. I, I see what you did. Imagine if the Kiara Castle was the one I was making. Man. That's that true. That thing would never die. That's true. Or, or if, if uh, the result was different, you know? Like, that would be remembered a lot more if uh, Secret would have got the win. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, resources collected. Looking at the statistics, 29,000 food for Blue. I wish that in the statistics when Portuguese were involved, I could see how much he collected on his own. Vitoria. And then how much he collected with the Vitoria. Exactly. Because that is surely because of the Vitoria. Well, when you see the villager count, it's kind of big tell. Yeah, exactly. 95 villager high for Red. Um, he was lacking a few upgrades here or there. And the efficiency wasn't pretty, but... He is probably now opening Reddit and like, how do you stop Vitoria? It's like, they are OP. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I had him beaten and then Cavalry show up because unlimited gold. He didn't make any units. How did he afford this? Yep, yep. <laughs> wow. I wonder if the timeline shows. I'm looking at this. Does anyone know if uh, the Vitoria shows up as military in the timeline? I don't know how that works. It might not show it's up at all. Be. Mm -mm. It's a building, I guess it doesn't show up. Yeah. Because cause technically it's eco, but I don't think that this is accurate. I guess it doesn't show. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> well, uh, Dal, thank you for casting that with me. Well, it was a pleasure. Can can you give when me... When is the coming? Yes, what you want from me? Well, I just... I, I Before we uh, like end this game here, I was curious if you could give any tips to these players. Maybe just like one or two words of advice. Well, to be fair, obviously I'm a bit trollish here, but they enjoy the game at the maximum. Those are the best days. Yeah. I assume they don't watch the gold games, they don't watch the top players. They just play because they enjoy the game. Yep. And that's really fun to see. I miss those days. Now it's all <laughs> like, oh, if he does loom one second later, if he push the deer, I will have one scout less. Yeah. And that will cost me the game in the Imperial Age. Uh, it's cool, but not as fun as those guys. Yeah, no, I'm I'm with you. Like, obviously, I like to play the game uh, competitively. Uh, not as good as you. I, I'm obviously not even close. But um, <clears throat> I like to cast competitive games. But I don't just do low elo legends because it's popular. I do it because I enjoy seeing people play the game like this because it's just a different world, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's the best part of the game. Like, especially if you have like a group of the friends in real life and. Then you're competing and you all suck, basically, but it's super fun. <laughs> I like how you had to bring up that you beat people in primary school. Though. You're like, I was competitive it's right away. Good. Then we, we all played and I, I destroyed them. Oh, really? How many people were in the tournament? <laughs> uh, it was like 20 people, I think. It, really? Age of was big, yeah. It was the LAN event. Was there a prize pool? Did you win like a... I, I think it was 50 euros, something like what? that. What? 50 yeah. euros when you were a kid? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It was decent. It was decent. Wow. And it was team game tournament, so we split in three places, but still. <laughs> Win is what matters. Worth it.